Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve the MSVCP110, that DLL issue on your computer. And it reads that the program can't start because MSVCP110.dll is missing from your computer. Try reinstalling the program to fix this problem. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys, on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu and type in settings, best match, or come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side, you want to select apps. And then on the right side, underneath apps, you want to select installed apps. And then in the search apps field, type in visual C++. Any item in here, it says Microsoft Visual C++. You want to select the three dotted icon immediately next to it and select the modify button. Select yes. And then select the repair button. And then select close. And then we're going to do it for the other item in here as well. You may have noticed it asks us to restart our computer. We're going to do that once we're done the second item in here. So go ahead and close out of here at this point and restart your computer. If you do not see Visual C++ listed in there, you will need to go into Google and then more appropriately Microsoft. It should link you to a Microsoft web page when you search for Visual C++. Download the latest redistributable that comes up on Google, again, directly from Microsoft.com. That's where I'd recommend getting it from. And then install it onto your computer. And then once that's done, open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And then into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC, followed by a space, forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that is concluded, close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. And then hopefully this point or issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.